Good morning. Beautiful day. It's only like 7.20, but I've been awake for a little while. Still hear the water there. Oh my God. Oh my God. So incredibly grateful. So I just found this dead branch on the other side. I just risked my life. It jumped over, grabbed it, threw it back here, jumped back. See, that's the sacrifices I would need to do as a caveman. <laughs> it's actually not bad at all. It was kind of cool to jump and make a huge deal out of it. Pretend like I'm Tarzan living in the jungle. It's fun. So now we got more wood for another fire tonight. See, I'm not killing any trees. Not killing any trees. I was already on the ground. Got my hammock there. What an amazing day already. It's not even noon yet. All right, can someone tell me what the fuck this is? Holy shit. <laughs> what? That, this is right where I'm staying at. Where I'm sleeping. What the fuck is that? Please send this to someone who might be able to tell me what that is. <laughs> oh my god. Will I survive? I don't know. Find out in the next episode. Gonzo TV. Oh my god, it looks so nice now. So we're gonna go for a walk. I wanna go out there to hike somewhere. But I heard, I forget if it was last night or this morning, that I heard some kind of animal, some weird stuff like howling or something. So I don't know. We'll see. That's why I'm bringing this. Now I'm also going to see if I find more wood. But look, I'm going to show you where I want to go. But it's probably where the pack of wolves is waiting for me up there. See that? No, you can't see that. Wait, let me move up there. But. I might explore up there, see where all the rattlesnakes and the scorpions are and everything. And then that's where I'm going to Can you see that? Let me see if I can zoom in without cutting myself. Up there, where the pack of wolves is waiting to eat me. I'll be there lunch. It's around noon now, so we'll see what happens. And by the way, if you're a man and you don't like walking around with a freaking machete then you're not a real man you're just a little bitch no i'm just kidding but it's fun i'm not gonna kill anyone by the way just to <laughs> find wood and protect myself if i ever need to but i don't want to kill any animals of course definitely not and i don't even want to kill trees i'm a nice guy oh this is pretty freaking cool Oops, there's a lot of water there. I like this. Oh my god, so people camped right here, I'm guessing. Well, <laughs> that's a pretty good guess. There's burnt wood there. Let's follow the water, people. Let's follow the water. Really cool. I'm not sure where I am. It's funny that actually no one has any freaking clue about where I am, so if anything happens, this will be the last you hear from me. But if you're watching the video, it's probably because I uploaded it, so I survived. Oh my god, the inner caveman in me wants to cross. But the inner little bitch in me doesn't want to get wet. <laughs> so I think we're going to listen to the little bitch and stay dry. Let's go this way. Holy shit, that looks cool. Everything's so dry around here and I guess it's because it's close to the water and stuff. It looks like a whole different place. I like this. 
Am I still in Sedona? Maybe I walked too much. I'm either in Utah or Mexico, who knows? Holy shit, I actually came behind the little crazy 8,000 feet mountain. Should go up. Let's see what's around here. Alright, we made it. No wolves or anything. No. Look at that. Very nice house there. Bunch of cows. I'm at the highest point in Sedona. Oh my god. Where the hell is my van? Let me find my van. Well, it has to be around there because that's where. Yeah. I almost felt like I had to use this. It's so muddy. I kept slipping. Pretty cool. No walls. I'm safe. No, I know I just say silly stuff and play drama queen on the video sometimes, but I seriously heard some weird animal either last night or this morning. I can't remember. All right, let's go. No, I'm actually gonna sit here for a little while. I'll meditate up here and then I'll go down. That meditation was amazing, amazing. Now I'm just cutting up some wood. It's so nice now. So I'm actually, might do a little workout. Got my TRX there. See, I got everything I need. I have my shower here. Maybe I'll show you that in the video. Got my TRX going. It's gorgeous. I'm actually shirtless now because it's so freaking hot. I'm gonna show you the six pack because we're gonna go crazy. Crazy. It's getting insanely warm. In the hammock. Really relaxing. In my workout. Had some food. I'm gonna take a shower right now. Show you it's cold. Oh my god, I love this place. So beautiful. I just met a, a really cool couple. Uh, maybe in their 60s with a um, couple dogs. Awesome dogs, beautiful dogs. And you know what I love is that people ask me what I'm doing on the trip and stuff and they all love the concept and the idea and the adventure of van life, of traveling, of exploring. And what I love is that I would never want to make someone feel bad if they can't do it. What I would love to be able to do is that if someone wants to do it but has a little bit of fear, insecurities, doubt, whatever, and I can inspire them to take the leap, if that's what they want to do, if it resonates with them, if it's their time to do it or whatever, like, that inspires me, if I can inspire others to do that. And we had a beautiful conversation and it was very special. Um, very special for some reason, the, 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 the guy, um, I, I won't go into it, but he said that um, he, he used to be a police officer for like 25 years and he had like trouble like trusting people and then stuff like that. And his wife was like, yeah, he, if, if, if I wasn't here, he would have come up and talked to you. And, but it was like a very nice, genuine, beautiful connection. I felt like um, we had a really cool conversation and it was awesome. It was awesome. So that's one of the gifts and the blessings of van life like getting to know people and having those conversations and inspiring people and being inspired by people um it's such a gift it's such a gift so i'm gonna keep enjoying this i hope you are having that amazing day such an amazing day i've been walking around my five finger shoes, shirtless, just wearing shorts, not even boxers. Didn't <laughs> put on boxers after my shower, like I was reading a book. I actually have that little chair because it's so easy to store in the van. So, 
What an amazing day. Uh, I wanted to catch the sunset for you, but I didn't. I will do a little meditation now. It's perfect. Oh, and I can see much, but it looks pretty nice. The, the water sands are so strong. I thought it was raining. I was in my van doing something. I thought it was raining. And I forgot to tell you, I actually stood here like facing the sun a little, a little while ago, completely naked, just facing the sun. And it was amazing. I loved it because I've never been to a nude beach or anything like that. So it was a very cool experience. I, um, I did go into the water naked at night a few times. Well, more than a few, but it was pretty cool. Middle of the day, middle of nowhere. Still naked. Thumbs up. Let's go get the fire going. I'll show you. Oh my god. Got the water. The fire. Beautiful night. You can see all the stars because there's not a single cloud. I don't know if you thought you would be able to see. And please always be safe when you're making a fire. Always have water next to you and stuff. And take any necessary precautions, please. Please, for all of us. So I'm going to do a little meditation by the fire. I feel called to meditate today a lot. Um, I'm going to do a, a longer meditation before sleep today, but I wanted to leave you with something, food for thought, or a little experience for you. Just think of one thing that you're gr grateful for today. Anything that comes up for you about today, one thing you're grateful for. Then what's one thing that you appreciate about yourself, that you love about yourself? And then who's one person who you're very grateful for? And then you can picture that person in your heart, in your mind, and just send them love, send them positive vibes, send them whatever you feel they would benefit from. And just those three little things, it might not even take three minutes, it might not even take two minutes. And just see how that shifts your perspective for the day. Hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.